ever wondered or wished for a way to be able to align everything nicely and neatly on your website, then I've got a good trick for you today. If you go into your editor and go to the top right hand corner where it says tools, click on this and you will see they've got rulers, grid lines and snap to objects. Make sure all three of these are ticked. So rulers, you can see your rulers appear along the top of the site and down the right hand side. Grid lines, this is basically the boundaries of your website and I'll show you how that works in a minute. And then you've got snap to objects, which I will show you how that works in a second. Okay, so let's talk about the rulers. Now the rulers are there to help you to create guidelines that can that you can use to align things with. So the very first thing that I do when I'm designing a website is I put a line over here. So click anywhere on the ruler itself and a blue line will pop up. This is not visible on your live site, don't worry. It's just a guideline. And you can either drag it to the midpoint of the website, or you can type in over there where the, the number pixel, so that's 490, and that's the halfway point because the full website is 980. If you want to delete one, just click on it, and there's a little bin that pops up. Just click on that and it's deleted. So now this is the midpoint of your website. If you've got any text that you want aligned to the middle point, just drag it and you'll see that when it is in, al in alignment, it turns magenta. So that means it has it's in the right place. So let's just move this book a call button. There you go. Now it's right in the correct place. So it also works if you've got a lot of other things that you want to align. If I want to align, you know, text further down the page with this image over here, I'll just click over here and drag my guideline to where I need it to go. Okay, so that's how the guidelines and the, the rulers work. Now let's talk about the grid. As you can see, there's a dotted line down the left of the page and down the right of the page. And everything on your website needs to be, everything that's important needs to be within those guidelines. So yes, in this case, the picture goes a little bit over, but that's okay because the page will expand and contract a bit depending on what size screen you're viewing it on. As long as the text is not over that dotted line, you'll be okay. So for example, if this text falls outside of those boundaries, you can see it goes gray, and that means it will be cut off on some screens. So just centralize everything and make sure none of your text um, goes over these boundaries. These boundary lines are also found at the top of the website and the bottom of the website. So let me show you the bottom. Okay, so this is the bottom of the website, and this is your footer. This whole area here is your footer. It's going to be the same on each page. And once again, just make sure everything inside the footer is within this box. You can't have your logo sitting outside the box because, or any of the text as well, because then it won't be seen on each page. The same goes for your header at the top of the page.